Welcome uh, viewers, dear colleagues. This is a cataract with grade 2 nucleus sclerosis. Let us watch this surgery. Dripping is done in such a way that all the eyelashes are out of the operating field. And the ocular surface is irrigated with bases and 5% covidon iodine solution. The eyeball has been, the surface has been prepared in the preparation room with uh, application of covidon iodine for 3 minutes. And this is just a running wash. And now we are going to start the surgery. Microscope is top console MS 800 and FECO machine is Faro's from Oki. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome die below. Three clock hours away. This is a side port. This is about 1.5 at this moment. If we need, we'll enlarge it later on. Now to demonstrate the rexis, I'm going to stain the entire capsule. I apply the dye on the entire capsule underneath an air bubble. When we use air bubble, the staining is very quick. We need not wait for a minute, just after 15 seconds we can wash out the dye. The anti-chamber is now filled up with 2% SPMC. The eyeball is supported by this cotton tipped Janssen bar. You did a forceps is introduced. The anterior leaf is lifted up. The central part of the capsule is pierced. It goes to periphery. Now one side is healed. And the guided anticlockwise all around. and an adequate size rexis is done. Hydro dissection is done. This is a soft cataract in this case. I am going to demonstrate the stop and chop technique. In stop and chop technique, we make a trench, divide the nucleus into two halves, and then use high vacuum to hold each nuclear half and divide the nuclear heminuclei. At this moment, the vacuum is 60, flow rate is 30, and power is 50%. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. The handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now the ultrasonic energy is used to make the trench. We have to use the energy only when we go forward. Come back again and gaze into the lens matter. and make the trench. I can see red glow at the central part and we can divide the nucleus into two halves at this time. Now at this time 
this higher vacuum vacuum is 475 flow rate is 45 and we are dividing this new chemical layer into pieces as it is emulsified the other piece is emulsified rotate this semi-nucleus, bring it in front hold it at the central part divide into two halves and emulsify 350 vacuum mm -hmm. we are trying to remove the epinucleus with lower vacuum 350 vacuum should not uh, handle it too much at this time what you should do is do hydro again hydro and see if it gets separated from the capsule You hold it with Simco and pull centrally. Now I will use the handpiece again to remove this thick epinuclear mass. It can be removed by Simco but it will take much longer time. The small amount of epinucleus is there. We can manage this with bimanual irrigation aspiration. We have only one side port, so the main port is used for irrigation. It goes and lifts the anterior wall and the antechamber depth is maintained. Irrigation is cortical cleanup is done. Cut this, it lasts the main wound a bit and implant the intraocular lens in the capsule bag. This is super fold, galaxy fold from upper semi associates. It takes longer time sometimes to unfold. By this time, this lens uh, has unfolded nicely. Most of the uh, or part of the lens is 
optic of the lens is covered by anterior capsular ring nicely centered intraocular lens to form the anterior chamber and now we check the integrity of the wounds this amlic is dohydrogen the IP is on the lower side there is some leakage from side foot so we will hydrate again and we will make another irrigation aspiration to leave clean BSS in the anterior chamber form the anterior chamber nicely and check the integrity of the wounds again. Now there is no leakage. IOP is fine. And now we conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Cut.